Hey everyone, this is Chris. Welcome back to the channel. So you just got a new job and you start on the first day and you're like feeling, what am I doing here? I don't know how to use the computer system. I don't know the processes. Why do they even hire me? And a lot of people get these kind of feelings when you first start something new. And you know, one of the things that I want to tell you is that this is natural when you start something new. Um, and if they hired you, that means you did a good job of fooling them to think that you, that you were qualified. And I make a joke about that, but honestly, that's what oftentimes uh, much of business and sort of much of life is, is putting yourself in the chance to get an opportunity when, you know, no one can read the future 100%, so you don't really know if you can do the job because you haven't done it yet. However, right, part of your goal with the interview or applying for any kind of job is to just say, hey, I think I can do it. I feel like I'm qualified to do it and try. And then when you get started, you got to really prove it. Now, the reason why I started with the point of like, you feel overwhelmed in the beginning, uh, that's natural and you're gonna start at your new job and everyone around you is gonna seem like they know what they're doing because uh, they've been there for a long time. And this is something that I really wanna stress with you guys is that's what experience is, okay? Um, experience is just getting used to a routine, uh, taking a problem, conquering it, and um, going on to the next problem and conquering and going on to the next problem. And you get experience realizing that whenever things feel difficult, whenever things feel like that, you know, they're undoable, you'll find a way to get around it. And this is especially true for you know, these days everything is changing. And one of the things that I, you know, as a professor for years, oftentimes students are always like, so just tell me what I'm supposed to do. Tell me what I'm supposed to study. Tell me, you know, which jobs I'm supposed to, supposed to apply for and, and tell me how to get a job exactly, right? And the thing is, is that people who are first starting out, you don't realize that no one has the answers to these kind of things. Um, basically what you have to do is you got to put yourself out there and sort of, what's the right word to say? Display confidence. People often hire confidence, right? And even if you don't really feel confident, um, you gotta make the illusion of that. It's, it's essentially what any business deal is. I'll give you a simple example. Um, when Bill Gates uh, made the big deal with IBM, and you guys may know this deal, this is a, one of the most famous business deals in history. They asked him, you know, Mr. Gates, we need an operating system. Do you have anything? He's like, oh yeah, yeah, we, we got the best operating system in the world. It's called DOS, right? <laughs> and um, if you know the story, the basic gist of it is that uh, Bill Gates, Paul Allen, and um, I can't the other guy, the third guy, I want to say Fulmer, um, they didn't have anything at the time. And what they ended up doing was actually uh, buying another company for like $20,000 or something like that and um, using their software to just pass it off to IBM as something that was a finished product. The basic, the basic gist of what I'm trying to tell you, it was all a charade. And it's very similar with say, uh, what any company does essentially is you'll have a prototype be it a car company, be it air conditioning, be it an airplane, anything. And the dang thing probably barely works, right? And you have to go to investors and go to people and say, oh yeah, I got this great thing, it's gonna change the world, and the thing barely works. And so oftentimes, much of business is sort of this illusion of confidence and getting people, convincing people that you can do it and that your product can do it. Now, they hired you for the job and you convince them that you can do it, now you actually gotta do it, and you feel a bit overwhelmed. Can you live up to all of these expectations that you have set? And I'm here to tell you that you can, and this is normal. It is normal for anyone to feel these kind of things because yes, you pitch these great things and now you gotta live up to it. But that's what everyone does. That's the game. That's, that's business in a nutshell is, it's funny, I'm making it sound like all a con job, but, but, that, but that's business in a nutshell is like offering people future value when obviously the future is uncertain, especially in this time. And so what I want you to understand is that uh, you can fulfill sort of the dream image of yourself that you have put out there of yourself, right? And oftentimes sort of this dream image of, of you and sort of the confidence that you portray, that becomes a re reality, okay? And the, the sort of right word would say, the, the ideal version of yourself, keep pushing forward towards that. Also too, if, if you feel like you're struggling at your new job and struggling in your position, that means you're being challenged and that's a good thing. That means you're moving forward and, and you're, you're bettering your skills. You know, when you sort of, get stuck in your same position, you feel a little bit bored, you don't feel like you're moving anywhere, uh, that means it's time to move on, right? And I know some people feel comfortable in their position, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Everyone has a different goal in their life, a sort of what they want to achieve and, and things of this nature, but kind of what I'm saying is that, you know, put yourself out there, tell people that you can do it, or another way to phrase it is, bite off more than you can chew. Because uh, oftentimes when you put yourself in the situation to where you have the responsibility to do more than you were doing before, uh, you will find you'll have a lot more uh, to give than you ever realized that, that you had. And I, I think kind of what, what I'm 
stressing you guys to sort of think of this way is like you're trying to learn how to swim right and you're worried if you jump into the deep end that um, you'll essentially drown but sort of human nature is when you do put yourself in these sort of situations uh, you will find a way you will find a way to succeed and you will find a way to overcome uh, the obstacle so I want to leave with this last one last thing is is always 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 strive for as high as you can go and if someone gives you an opportunity to do something crazy just take it and figure out how it's going to work uh, after you get there so um, that's all I have to say for you today hope everything's going great with you guys keep striving for your dreams and uh, I'll catch you next time